a number of inmates lack access to legal services to enable them have a fair trial. To break this gap, Kituo Cha Sharia has for several years adequately empowered and equipped the prison paralegals with the necessary legal knowledge to confidently represent themselves in court offer legal advice and educate other inmates on the criminal law and also guide the other inmates on how to confidently represent themselves in court and empower the entire prison community. This project was pioneered in the year 2009. Uh, we started with uh, establishing a prison justice center in uh, Shimolatewa Men Prison and throughout the years and in support with the different development partners we have been able to um, establish more of these centers throughout the country. Um, methodology that we use is we train a few inmates and also officers um, on self-representation, criminal law, on paralegalism, on uh, how to present themselves in court. After that these uh, few inmates and uh, officers that we train are able to do legal aid clinics and also to provide these legal services to other inmates within the prison facility. In Kenya, Kituo Cha Sharia has established 14 prison justice center through the support of Netherlands Embassy, United Nations Development Program and European Union. So far, the legal empowerment efforts have paid off. Since the program started, we have seen a number of convicts successfully arguing their cases and getting acquitted by the courts. Thousands of innocent people have been assisted by the paralegals and they have finally been discharged. At Meru Prison, we meet Ms. Agnes Morosia, an inmate who narrates how the knowledge she acquired has enabled her to successfully represent herself and other inmates in court. Vinyalisoma paraligo ama sheria na kituo cha sheria niweza kusaidika kupitia hearing kwa case defense pia na sanjitetea na pia niliweza kuikimu kusaidia wenzangu wakiwa hapa ndani kupitia wenye wamefungwa kiapil vile wataandika appeal against the sentence or conviction na wengi wetu wamesaidika ndio tuko na namba saindi ya watu kumi wale wameweza saidika kupitia bila tumesomeshwa na kituo cha sheria tuko na wenye walikuwa live wakaandika appeal kupitia usadisi wetu wa masomo ya paralegal tukiwa prison kama Faith Mudhoni alikuwa live tuliweza kumsaidia na ameweza kuachiliwa tulikuwa na Sabina alikuwa live tukaweza kumsaidia tuko na Kayuyu last month alitoka na nikupitia paralegal ama sheria ambazo tulisoma ama vile tunaweza kujitetea kotini pale ama wakati tumefungwa ama tukiwa remand tukijua rights zetu pale especially kama wanawake na toshukuru sana kwa sababu si hapa tu njela ama mtu ambaye amepatwa na na kosa hata community tukifunzwa eh, wakati nilitoka hapo nilitoka na board na nilienda pia kwa community na nikaanza kusaidia wao na kusaidia pia nchi yetu ya Kenya ku, kupunguza ugaindi ama ule kosana ama kunjipata prison ni mali kama hapa so tunakuwa na legal and vice pale tukitoka hapa tunakuwa kwa chiefs camp tunapeleka zile certificate mnatupea na tunaweza pia kupata kasi pale when they face magistrate or a judge at least they have a clue of what to experience in court they even know how to close examine the witnesses during the trial and in fact we have seen fruits because we have seen others being released others we have also i have also shown them on how to light the an, an appeal or with uh, my help and we have achieved a lot some have been acquitted others have got their sentences reduced like recently, just uh, two weeks ago, we had Purity Muendwa, uh, who had a narcotic case, and she was sentenced to seven years, and it was reduced to two years. And now we still have other pending cases that are going on in, uh, in high court, and we are hoping that we are going to be successful. We are sure that we are going to be successful because we have tackled them properly. 
I thank you, Kituo Shasheria, for giving us this chance just to add knowledge. You know, we are not lawyers, but at least with the basic information, we are able to help the venerable inmates who doesn't have proper representation in court. When we first met Joseph Lemoy, he was serving a life sentence for murder. Initially, he was sentenced to death. Joseph was devastated and thought he could lose his mind. Thanks to Kituo Chashiria, Joseph say he has hope again. Through paralegal training that Kituo conducted in 2016, he acquired legal knowledge that he used to appeal his sentence, which was reduced from life to 30 years imprisonment. I'm Joseph Lomoni Okongwa. I was arrested in the year 2012, charged with an offense of murder. After full trial, I was found guilty and sentenced to suffer death. On the year 2016, I was tra trained by Tua Chasheria as a paralegal. I get a chance to learn about law. I successfully appealed my appeal to the Court of Appeal against both conviction and the sentence. But uh, the appeal on conviction was uh, dismissed, but my sentence of death was reduced to 30 years imprisonment. That's why today I have a date to go home. I thank the Kituo a lot. Kulingana ile training niliweza kusaidia na Kituo. Hata mimi nikasema pia wacha ni saidie wengine pia waweza kupata hiyo knowledge hapa ndani prison. Kuwasaidia kwa mambo ya kuadvise kuhusu kesi zao bila wataweza cross examine the witnesses pale kotini. Pia wakati mtu anafungwa mimi huwa nawasaidia kuandika appeal pale court, pale high court Meru na pia wengine ambao wanafungwa na high court Meru huwa nawasaidia ku draft appeal to the court of appeal at Nyeri waweze kusikizwa hapa prison ya mimi ndio secretary secretary wa justice center ambaye iliweza kufunguliwa na kituo cha sheria na tuko na data set ambayo tuna record vile tunaweza kusaidia watu tukisaidia mtu appeal tuna, tuna record ya kwamba tumesaidia na pia tukiweza kufanya chochote kile tuna huwa tuna record ndio kuweza kufuatilia ile kazi tunaweza tunafanya hapa ndani kama paralegals kwa hiyo mwaka wa 2022 tumeweza kusaidia wengi tumesaidia kama kuna watu kama sita wamekuwa acquitted na high court baada ya appeal zao kuwa kusikiswa na pia kuna wale ambaye board zao imeweza kuwa reduced walikuwa wamepewa board ya juu kulingana vile tumeweza ku, kuingilia kati board zao zikaweza kupunguzwa wakaweza kupewa kiwango kidogo ya board na wakaweza kulipa na wakaweza kwenda nyumbani Dennis Mutweri Kebwe who is serving a life sentence for robbery with violence has helped several inmates secure their freedom. We have been able to draft withdrawal applications uh, uh, for board and bill reduction applications in court, which have been working very well. We have been able to have the basic legal knowledge that we have impacted to other inmates and they can self-represent themselves in court and they can uh, be able to feel for their justice in court without fear knowing that they are confident of what they are saying and that is what is in the law. The law clearly states that ignorance of the law is not a defense and now we are not ignorant of the law again. We have been able to be sensitized and we know much about what we can say and what we can do uh, in court. We know our rights and we are able to demand those rights via petitions in court and we are able also to give to make all all petitions in court as the law clearly states with the new cases developments in legislation and policies every year kituo conducts refresher training for the paralegals to update their knowledge and skills to best operate kituo through the support of netherland embassy in kenya offers administrative support materials including stationaries toners and printing papers to the prison justice center to facilitate processing of legal documents at the center. We are very much grateful for the Ketua ya Sharia for the material support that they have been giving unto us, the stationaries and uh, the printers, the laptops. We are very grateful and happy because of Kituo for supporting us that we can also be able to deliver our services as paralegals to other inmates. 
So we are happy because of getting the criminal procedure code, getting the penal code, getting the constitutions, and uh, having the to know the, uh, the 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 process by which we are supposed to represent ourselves. Kituo has also played a big role in providing technical assistance in legal matters that need the attention of advocate. At the same time, Kituo has installed computers and internet to facilitate virtual court sessions. We are able to now encompass uh, new developing matters. You know, we had the COVID-19 pandemic that really affected our prisons. Um, there is an emergence of use of uh, virtual courts. Um, so now we are able to encompass um, such things like uh, etiquette, court etiquette in virtual courts and also when they are taken to physical courts. Uh, we are also able to provide new machines and equipment to our prison justice centers so that they can be able to to move with the with the new times or with the new world that was created by the COVID-19 pandemic. We have uh, been able to link the inmates with our community justice centers that just like the prison centers are found throughout the country. So when an inmate leaves, especially our paralegals, once they leave, they usually come to Kituo uh, or they contact us and we are able to link them with the community justice centers where they are able to continue providing the legal services that they were giving, giving in prisons now in their community. I'm Yusuf Abdullahi Chute, former convict who was recently released on the 19th of April this year after having been convicted for the offense of manslaughter at the High Court in Meru. I've spent eight years eight years behind bars and today I'm lucky to come and visit Kituo Chasheria uh, to thank them for the training first of all that they, they gave us you know the legal know-how that I got from them is the reason why at least uh, I was able to defend myself I was able to self-represent myself in in court and get even a lesser lesser sentence of manslaughter initially i was uh, i was charged with murder but luckily after the training and everything i uh, i was able to to get you know the jinx of how the criminal system works and how somebody can represent himself other than the legal uh, services that these paralegals provide we've seen many of them do several um, public interest cases and petitions uh, that not only benefit them but also benefit all inmates throughout the country. A good example um, is the Muratetu case. Um, and we also have, after the Muratetu case, we've been having so many petitions on section uh, 3332 of the CPC on computation of sentences. So we assist our paralegals when they come up with these cases and also when they are handling complicated cases um, that need technical support. So we have very many meetings with them. So we assist uh, and advise, but our paralegals are usually at the center and they lead um, the work towards filing the, their petitions and also doing the applications. One of our biggest successes was Kituo Chasheria uh, was a favorable decision that we got in court in the year 2013, following a petition we did in 2012, seeking um, the court to allow inmates to vote. And uh, this was implemented in the year 2017, and even in uh, this election that we did in the year 2022, uh, prisoners were allowed and were given the necessary facilities to vote.